Hi, I'm Vincent DePaola, and this is my wife, Megan DePaola. We've been married for 15 years. I have four kids, and we met in college. Vinny and I have been at New Life Chapel for six years, and we both serve in the kids' life area. Our story before tithing, um, we've had some rough things happen about three years ago. Vinny <laughs> lost his job. Um, it was a huge surprise. We were obviously not expecting that. When that happened, in a lot of ways, it ended up being a blessing in disguise. Um, Vinny got a new job, and his new job is sales-based, so our income was very uncertain from month to month. When I lost my job, it was, it was, it was big. We're fortunate enough before that I worked, Megan got to stay home with the kids, and that's very, yes. very fortunate. Um, Especially with four. Yeah. We were led to take the 90-day tithe challenge because we were, number one, it was already a thought in our mind. And it was something that God was relentlessly, relentlessly putting back into our mind. Applying that principle uh, and letting him into our finances, which was the part that we didn't trust him in, and he wasn't a part of that, and it showed. Um, we've always given, but we didn't tithe. And so we always had the idea that we will give more when our finances are better. We've trusted God with every other aspect of our life, but we did not trust God with our giving because we were not tithing. And the 90 day challenge helped us make the decision of the first fruits and giving 10% of every paycheck back to the church, but also to God. And one of the big shockers is when our 10 year old looked at us and said, do you know if you don't tithe, you're stealing from God. Yeah. That was big. And then he ran away and did something else. <laughs> that was a shocker. But when he, when Vinny lost his job, that was one of those points that Pastor talks about where you're in the middle. And you can either go one way or another and you can feel like God is not there. Or you can take it and realize God's plan is to do something with that. And now three years later, in the, almost a year in of tithing, we can see now where this fits into the plan for us. But we're starting to see the beginnings of it. And we're excited about what God has to do from here on out as far as our finances go.